Welcome to the 28th episode of the Frank Cho Crypto Show. If we haven't met before, my name is Frank Cho. I'm here to help you live a richer life. And on the weekend episodes of this channel, we talk about deeper crypto topics, specific XRPL projects, and other things of interest to the community. This weekend, unfortunately, I have to talk about scams. They've been getting worse and worse over time. I cannot keep up with all the comments that just bombard the comment section. So I want to talk about that, including an XRP scam that has just come out in the last few days. I want to make you aware, give you that extra warning. And then also, if you'll stick around towards the end of the video, as I promised earlier this week, I'm going to talk about me quitting and some of the changes that that's going to have on the channel because it's going to impact our scheduling, but we'll still be around. So let me uh, talk about that, but I'll get through the important topics of the day first. And then if you're interested and more on that personal side, I'll address it at the end of the video. So let's take just a quick look as a reminder, if you've missed any of the previous Sunday episodes, they're available on the playlist. I'll link it in the video description. So what's been happening here with the XRP scan? giveaway in the past few days is the PWZ or PWC, uh, which is PricewaterhouseCoopers, independent accounting firm, uh, consulting, big time, big four accounting firm. Uh, but their Venezuela Twitter account was hacked and has been promoting a link to a scam XRP giveaway. And those tweets have remained active. So the Twitter account of the Venezuelan branch of PWC was hacked to promote this scam giveaway. They started posting links to a website purporting to represent Ripple and claiming to give away a large amount of XRP in an obvious scam. It's been posted the same link 14 times so far as of the posting of this article on the block. Typically, these scams ask victims to send an amount of crypto in the hope they will receive more in return, only for nothing to be sent back. So far, all the tweets remain live on the account, suggesting the owner is either unaware of the scam or has lost access to the account. The block emailed the company for comment, but had not heard back by the time of the publication. The PwC uh, Venezuela account has over 30, 000, uh, 37,000 followers, which is smaller than the firm's main account, which is much larger, but still pretty significant for being a country-specific account. This just reminds us that you have to be extra careful there's a lot of XRP scams and a lot on YouTube. You'll see these uh, dummy accounts just pop up and they'll run uh, live streams. And these live streams get promoted by YouTube because YouTube favors live streams. It'll put them at the top of the search results. They'll pretend to be the official Ripple channel. They'll play old footage of Brad Garlinghouse. They'll turn off comments so people can't warn others. And then the only thing in the video description will be a link to a scam. Uh, I've gone through and found these and reported them, uh, but I just don't have the time to report all of them because they pop up all the time. If you are listening to a video with a, a dummy voice, a voice that's pre-recorded or AI based, and all it is is a stream of something else, be cautious. Here, I have always shown my face because you know I'm a real person. You can see me, you can hear me, and I always link everything we talk about in the video description, the topics, the references, the legal documents, everything. That way you have other sources. Be especially careful. It seems to be getting worse and worse. And when we're in a bear market, it seems like it even gets worse after that as people become more desperate to find a high yield or a quick return to maybe offset some other losses. They'll be more willing and more susceptible perhaps to scams. So do exercise extreme caution. And there's another one I want to talk about in more detail here as well. Before that, self-custody though is your best protection. The Nano S Plus is back in stock in multiple colors. I'll link it down in the video description. Uh, if you're interested, check it out. There's other options out there. Ledger is one of the top rated ones. Just make sure you're protecting yourself and your assets. Don't send money to other people with the expectation that they're going to send you more. Uh, that's how a lot of these scams get started. And then they take whatever crypto you send them and then they're gone. So please, please exercise caution. Now I want to pull up the last video I posted here uh, on Friday. And in this video, if you look at the comments, they are now bombarded with these scam comments and to the point where you can hardly see any of the legitimate comments because they have these bots that will like and push those forward. You can see 43, 153 likes on the comments. 
in none of my videos has any comment ever gotten that many likes, any legitimate comment. Uh, so that is a, uh, a real warning sign there. Even the best comments, the most thoughtful and insightful, insightful ones, usually get maybe 20 likes, 30 likes at the top end. So when you see these, you can see 42, 43, there's a red flag that it's the same bot running this and they have the same bot accounts. So it's going to have the same number. You see 153, 153. Those are some key warning signs because you know it's the same entity running it. They're just liking, liking, liking. And then you'll see these replies. Very rarely also on the channel comments is it that you see a long thread of back and forth, especially when you see, oh, this many Bitcoin in this many days and so on and so forth. But the big one that has been coming out a lot lately is this AMZ 15 V which is an Amazon token scam and they just did a recent write-up on this on Kitco and it's important that we take a look at this so this was uh, published uh, about 10 days ago give or take and uh, it talks about the Amazon token scam and uh, it hasn't stopped and because Amazon is a big recognizable name and there have been rumorings uh, or rumors and murmurings about um an Amazon token of some kind or Amazon being involved in blockchain and people are always hunting for new job descriptions on Amazon's uh, careers website that talk about blockchain or anything. So because of all that going on in the background, it could be easy to fall for some of these traps. So be especially careful. I want to run through this article real quick because it talks in more detail about some of the things here. So it's a quick one. It's about a page. But again, just uh, tune in here for a sec as we talk about this because I, I don't want anybody to get burned by these scams. So as anyone who's dabbled in the crypto market for any length of time can attest, learning to identify and navigate around scams is a necessary skill to develop. Uh, because this fast-moving industry has people always looking for that next 100x token. One of the most popular methods trying to sucker people in is pumping the launch of a new token connected with Google or Facebook or any other big company and trying to catch on to the FOMO that ensues. The most recent one, of course, that we're talking about here, making the rounds on social media and YouTube in particular, is one promoting the launch of Amazon tokens where these malicious advertisements and content comments uh, imitate legitimate news sites posting breaking stories about the world's largest online retailer launching its own crypto uh, currency. And the Kitco channel says here it's especially pertinent to them because they come up all through their comment site. And as we saw on my channel too, obviously not as big as theirs, but still inundated. It's as though if you talk about crypto at all, you're going to get bombarded with these fake Amazon uh, scam comments. Please, please be careful. The fake stories rely on people's trust in the Amazon brand and play on their desire to get in on the ground floor of the next big token before the bulk of investors arrive. Many recall reading stories about high-flying tokens during the ICO craze back in 2017 and 18 and get excited about the prospect of overnight wealth. Unfortunately, the claims made in these stories are 100% false as Amazon has repeatedly denied any plans to launch its own crypto. As it stands now, the company has yet to integrate the option to pay with crypto when checking out. So the idea of an Amazon token seems even more far-fetched. That's not to say Amazon will never release its own token or get more involved in crypto payments, but rest assured, if they do decide to go down that route, this story will be headlining every major news outlet in the Western world. So just think about that. If Amazon was really doing this, CNN, Fox, uh, NBC, you know, all of these channels would be talking about it. It would be a big deal. Think back when Amazon was debating where to put their HQ2 before they settled on the final destination that they were going to select. It was everywhere, almost every day, in these cities fighting back and forth for each other. So if Amazon got into crypto, imagine it would probably be the same. Constantly in the news, projects falling over themselves to try and be the partner. You'd have Polygon and Avalanche and on and on would just be trying to be the one you would hear about it and you wouldn't have to see it in a comment from a fake account on YouTube. It would be in the major news. So do just keep that in mind. Please, please exercise 
extra caution when it comes to these. Some common things to look for when trying to determine if a crypto ad is a scam include frequent misspellings in the ad or landing page, a ticking timer encouraging you to invest now before time runs out, and lofty promises about how high the token could go or any instances of guaranteed income, right? Legitimate sources are not going to be able to say, oh, we guarantee this, that, or the other. That being said, scammers have become increasingly sophisticated at their craft and the websites they come up with can be extremely convincing, even for the most experienced scam detectors. Experienced crypto holders will confirm that it's often safer to just assume that crypto advertisements and posts on social media are illegitimate and require further verification. And honestly, in this time that we're in in the crypto space, it might be safer for you to take the approach of guilty until proven innocent. Don't trust these random uh, scams, especially when it's talking about something like an Amazon token that uh, just doesn't seem quite right. Always do your due diligence before doing any action here in this space, which is rife for scams right now. One way to verify if a token is legitimate is going directly to the project or company's website without going through any of those links and looking for an official announcement that the company's outlining the details. You could also check their official social media. Uh, if it was Amazon, you think they would definitely put that out there on their social media accounts. So definitely do all of that as part of your due diligence. And another way to check is simply doing an internet search for a term like Amazon token and surveying the results in the news stories uh, that are by trusted news providers to see if it's something that really is going on. If there aren't multiple stories that corroborate uh, from these top news brands posted around the same time relating to this topic, then it's likely a scam. And above all, it's vital to remember that the global nature of crypto means that threats can come from anywhere in increasingly sophisticated ways. So it's important for us as individual investors to remain vigilant and always do a good amount of research before getting involved in any crypto project. And that's something that you just can't take too seriously because here, uh, or, or can't take, not take too seriously, because uh, here the problem we have in the crypto space is there's a lot of bad actors, there's a lot of unclear regulation, uh, people think they can get away with stuff here uh, in ways that they couldn't with other financial scams and frauds, and so they're trying to get in quick, get the quick buck from people and move on, and some of the anonymity allows for that. So please be extra cautious when you're looking at projects. Make sure you understand the team behind them, what the goals are, and if they are truly legitimate, go through the white papers, do the research, and do what it takes to feel comfortable with putting your hard-earned money into a project, into an asset that uh, you're not going to be able to ever really touch or feel, right? These are digital assets. So you have to have that trust in what that source is. So I hope this was helpful as a good reminder of some of the nasty things that kind of go on in the background with these scams. And I have over 150 blocked words on uh, my YouTube channel so people can't comment those. Every time I see something, like when you see these, I try and block these, but this AMZ 15V is the new one. I've blocked plenty of AMZs uh, before, other fake Amazon ones. And so even though I try and put those controls in place, uh, others get through and they change almost every day. They put uh, WhatsApp in there with numbers and not just numbers, but they'll use symbols that look like numbers or the number with a circle around it. So you can't even just block numbers or the symbols. They'll do weird combinations. So it's getting increasingly hard to get everything blocked through. And I've seen other channels even taking the extreme step of having to validate every single comment before they let it get posted. Unfortunately, though, I just don't have the time to do that. And that brings me here to the end and why I'm trying to emphasize extra caution as you look through the comments. Because uh, as of next week, I'll be starting a new full-time role. I'll still be here on the channel, but I'm going to have to change the way that I post and the frequency and some of the other ins and outs. It's going to be a transition period, and we'll see how everything plays out, but I'll still be here for the news updates throughout the week. It will just change the timing. It'll probably end up being a little later in the day 
that I'm able to post. So make sure you stay tuned and don't go anywhere. I'll still be here. It'll just be later in the day. And recently I've been uh, able to post maybe twice a day uh, on a more regular basis, but it's going to go back to probably just once a day. And depending on the uh, sports schedules for the kiddos, uh, Saturdays I will probably move away from. So Saturdays uh, will likely no longer have a video. That way I can put more effort into the Sunday videos here for the Frank Cho Crypto Show. I'd like to uh, expand on these, make them a little bit longer as we had been doing at the beginning of the show when we first started in the first 10 episodes or so, and then try and uh, maybe add a little bit more editing to them uh, and pre-record some of it. A lot of the topics we talk about on Sundays are such that I can record it in the week, edit it, kind of make it a little bit nicer and something that will be more meaningful over time versus just that one and done news hit. And then it provides more of like a crypto journal that we can follow along. And then a year from now, it'll still be relevant to you. So those are things I'm working on. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, so while I'm quitting what I'm doing now and moving to the next thing when it comes to a career standpoint, from a channel standpoint, you can expect to get the same thing that you've been getting here. News with the sources vetted and with reliable and trusted sources that you can follow up on and do further due diligence on. That's always been my goal. It was the thing that I always thought was missing uh, when I started this journey here on the channel. Um, it's been almost two years uh, and I will do a special episode in about three weeks when we hit that anniversary mark for the channel. Um, but I definitely have, uh, have had a lot of fun doing this and I hope that you stick around for the next two years and beyond and uh, we'll keep it going. But that's what I wanted to share as the update, just that little shift. If I do have time to get a Saturday video out and there's relevant information that I think is really valuable, I, I can probably still do it, but I think going forward for the most part, I'm going to cut Saturdays out of the schedule as I did yesterday. So uh, thank you for all of your support. I do truly appreciate it. And we'll be back with even more as time goes on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future episodes of the Frank Joe Crypto Show and the daily news updates during the week. Hit that like button if you found any value here. It helps the channel a ton and keeps you informed. Formed. Thank you so much for spending some time here with me. I do truly appreciate it. Again, thank you for your contributions to the comments, for your support, and be careful out there with all the scams going around. Have a great rest of your day and Labor Day weekend if you're in the U.S. or anywhere that celebrates that this weekend, and I will see you in the next one.